to see scandal for Facebook after the company said a problem with this software made some private posts public for as many as 14 million users in May. Melissa Armo of StockSwoosh.com joins us now. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning. How are you? Good. Now, uh, how serious is this latest Facebook bug? I don't think it's as serious as the initial bug that came out, which was earlier in March, simply because this only affected 14 million viewers uh, or subscribers, whereas back in March, it was like 84 million. But the problem is, and why I think this is concerning, is because they said they were going to fix these problems. And then all of a sudden, now there's another problem. And they just come out and say, well, we're sorry, and we'll make sure this doesn't happen again. But it did happen again. The stock did not react, though, as poorly as it did back in March. It did sell off. It sold off from making highs. It was back the previous highs at 195 and it probably would have gone over and made a new high if it weren't for this negative data but all in all i think people just don't seem to really much care they're still using facebook so then will anything affect facebook stock is it bulletproof Oh, gosh, you know, Tracy, that's a good one. I don't know. I mean, it does seem like almost nothing can, but it did affect the stock really this year. I want to point that out. It did. It had a huge sell-off. It was a short for a while. But when the earnings came out for Facebook, it turned around. And since it's in this tech sector where the stocks keep making new highs like Amazon, Google's up near the highs again. All of these stocks are rallying so much it's hard to see. People can't live without their Facebook. They love it. They want to get on Facebook every day. They want to connect with their friends and family. And I think what people need to realize, what people need to know is that anything you put out on Facebook or any of these sites, YouTube, any of the internet just consider it public just consider it's out to the world don't mm -hmm. even think that your privacy isn't being breached assume that your privacy is pub that you don't have the privacy that you have public information out there your birth date your pictures all of it just assume that because you can't really trust these people to do what they're going to say all the time obviously yeah so do you think this will send mark zuckerberg back to capitol hill if not this maybe what happened with huawei not necessarily but maybe something in the future could again mm -hmm. And then this would just be another negative against it, which is funny. It's reminding me, when you hear this kind of news, remember when Wells Fargo was a scandal after scandal after scandal? Mm -hmm. It seems like Facebook's getting like that, too. You're not surprised anymore. Like, oh, well, there's another one. Check. And you read it. You read the news and go on. Could something happen in the future? Maybe. Possibly. But I think they're really trying to fix the problems. It's just whether or not it's going to last. All right. Thank you, Melissa, for joining us. Thanks. <laughs> All right, it is party time in D.C. The Capitals are bringing the Stanley Cup back to the nation's capital. <laughs> Jeremax has all the highlights just ahead. And Justify is going for a triple crown. Janice Dean live at Belmont Park for a preview of tomorrow's big race. Taking a look at your futures, well, not so big. In fact, we're looking at a down market on this Friday. Dow pointing lower in the pre-market by 121. S&P down 13 and a quarter. NASDAQ down by 63. A lot of big news over the weekend. Traders saying, nah, we're going to hold off. We'll be right back. you got to know when to hold. Know when to fold. Know when to walk away. And no wind to run.